Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be a different kind of video. I'm going to show some prompts. How can you leverage AI to learn to code faster? Because sometimes you probably don't have money to buy courses. Knowledge is scattered all over the internet, right? So the what courses does like they give you like narrow down way of learning to code, which is good sometimes. But if you don't want to do that, is there a way you can learn to code faster without paying anything? So that was the idea behind this uh, this video. So we'll do some research. We'll, we'll try some prompts and see how can AI actually helps us to learn to code faster. Uh, so I will act as someone who is pretty new to React. So we'll be learning uh, React in this video with the help of AI, with the help of ChatGPT. And this is just a free, I'm not paying ChatGPT anything, it's a free version. So you probably all have that. So let's see like how far we can go with, with this AI ChatGPT thing, if it's, it will help us or not. And then I have this uh, Notion document. What I'll do, I will uh, link this document below in the description so you all can access that. Okay, this page looks good. Now let's uh, try some prompt. Okay, so this is going to our first prompt. So create personalized learning path for ReactJS. I'm currently a newbie, knows basics of JavaScript. But let's say what ChatGPT will give it to us. So it's cooking. So since you are new to React, already know the basic of React, sorry, JavaScript, here's a structured learning plan to help you build a strong foundation and progress effectively. So phase one, it's like, it's giving us the weeks, right? So week one to two, these are the prerequisites. Okay, and topics to cover, what is React? Why should we use it? Okay, components and props, states and events. Okay, list and keys. So this is, we should do in week one. Okay, and then it's giving, suggesting some, uh, projects we can start like to do app which is good and the phase two is more like intermediate react so it's like one to two weeks you can do basics okay three to four weeks you can do the intermediate stuff some hooks you can do some forms which is fine you can do react router okay lifting state context api pretty good then you can create a kind of app okay so far it's good and the advanced okay week five to six uh comfortable you already comfortable with the use state and use effect react router which is good uh react performance optimization now we can how to optimize react application uh react tan stack query okay state management with redux so just stand okay or authentication okay and again giving us a uh, project we can create a prod app uh user authentication and full stack react week seven to eight like about two months period it recommend going with uh next js okay uh things to topics to cover like next years databases so a lot of things it gives us which is which is good so what we can do uh we can copy that so that uh we don't forget it and the thing is this just it's giving us some resources so i copied that and i'll create a page here and we'll give it uh personalized learning path for react to learn react okay and then i paste that guy so now we have we took the information from chat gpt and pasted it over here and purpose is because see you don't want to go every time to chat gpt and asking the same question right we put it here so that anytime you can go and you can read through these documents good so we have this part is good now let's try the other prompt the next prompt okay so let's say you do that you do a few weeks you go and you learn your basic things or maybe like you want to have like uh, before like but stuff you need to do so what you can do we can give it another prompt so generate practice problems i studied gsx can you create a challenge for me so just giving you an example like what you can ask okay now you already know gsx probably like week one or something where you do gsx yeah it's week one so now if i do that it will say okay react now build a profile card okay objective it gives you objective and it gives you like all the requirements and it gives you a starter code as well so you can copy paste your your uh your code editor vs code or whatever you're using what i'm recommending you is now passing data via props right give me a challenge so give me a challenge to passing data via probes okay now it will give you another challenge so what we can do again uh, uh, uh so what we can do we can 
copy this come here come here and what you can do either you can create individual let's say understanding of javascript or jsx you can convert this into a page understanding jsx and it will have its own theory right and let's add a practice problem and you can probably add code here oh don't need to do that so what you can do you can just paste that challenge here so now this is your challenge and you can I mean you can copy that and paste it here now you have your starter code as well so just giving you some examples what you can do to create your own path like create your own material if you don't want to go through YouTube or courses uh, you can do that this is pretty powerful thing this how you should use AI in your favor learn things faster anyone can teach you those things teaching things have lower value now like this because chat GPT can do that so why don't you take advantage of that why would you give someone money I mean I'm not against courses I create my own right so it doesn't matter uh, I'm not here to milk money out of people because I want to earn like ten dollars right so that's not the purpose if you can do that well you probably don't need courses but some people they don't learn that way some people they need an instructor right so nothing bad in that you pay someone ten dollars you gain the knowledge and build things right so uh, i'm just telling in case like you need right so now we have let's add some icon here yeah so if you come here now you have this this section where you can add theory and similarly you can uh add theory here like convert these into individual pages right so you can use notion that way it's, it's pretty powerful like i i do like it it's free uh okay so now let's move to our next query like what we can do so let's say let's say you are learning use effect hook right and you, you 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 don't get it like i didn't get the use effect hook so i didn't understand use effect hook explain like i'm five so all right imagine you are a carter like it gives you an example right what does it relate to like it has it explains you all in theory and everything like giving the points so you can go through that this is what you can do if you are stuck just ask it it won't be mad at you because that's what ai is good for it's it's kind of your teacher pretty pretty like uh easy stuff you can just ask question if you didn't get like some hooks or you didn't get the context api you didn't understand why you should re uh, use redux or just stand versus difference so you can ask it you can and you can store this information somewhere that's the important thing that's why i'm i'm here so that you can store your information so that you don't have to go back every time uh, now let's move to uh, like similarly what you can do you can paste the code if you have error you're probably doing it right in the code you didn't understand anything you just copy and paste that code and it will explain like what's what's wrong you're doing okay now next prompt what you can try is uh, okay I completed uh, the first week can you please create 10 questions that can be asked in an interview so okay i completed the first week can you please create 10 questions that can be asked in an interview okay so it already knows about what the first week we did right because it has the information here phase one phase two phase three, like week one and two so let's see what it comes okay gsx what a component so gives you again so what you can do you can copy that guy and copy that you can create a page practice questions and then you paste it now as you complete the first week or phase one whatever you can come here and practice those questions you can write your solutions here as well see now what's happening is you're storing all that information here and this is what important because if you go to youtube you search you do it for like five ten minutes and it will be you will be all over the place i'll give some advice some other guy will give some different advice and you'll be pretty confused so this can be a central repository of everything you need to do to learn react and 
now when you're stuck let's say you stuck understanding some some functionality like what you don't understand state you can ask here everybody or you can go to youtube or other resources and just do your research so this is how i i would learn nowadays if i have to like go back and start to learn coding or react or anything i would i would i would follow this and this is so neat like i have my personal le- personalized learning everything is here i can add pages and everything and i will n- end of the day like week 7 or 8 i have my own curriculum now i can go on my own pace i can ask questions i can do a lot of things okay now let's move to what kind of uh queries we can ask to chat gpt so the next thing you can do so let's say you you cover the basics right you you cover like first four weeks you can ask it give me three projects ideas for react beginner it's i think it's, it already gave you so you can still ask this question and give you three ideas uh so let's say what it gives for react beginner so you can create an expense tracker it gives you the feature as well like you don't have to think it will gives you the features you can build that and i mean that's pretty much straightforward right you just copy and uh let's say i copy that guy so that i don't lose it that's the thing come here and probably create a page practice problems and paste it here or it's not practice problem it's actually project ideas and an icon now you have your project ideas here pretty neat so when you and your fourth week you can go this project ideas and you can build those apps pretty straightforward and next question you can ask is uh, what are some in the street level practices i need to learn i am that's how you get a job i'm going to start my first job soon do that it will again give you all the information congrats on your first job okay good quality best practices state management performance everything it, it is giving you right so you can create another document over here things need to do after getting your getting my first job and you can come here and you can copy this guy so that you have you know what you want to do right copy that and paste it give it an icon that's it now you have like you're building this document which will in long term will help you it's it will be better than any course or any platform it will be your place you can print it out and do research or learning at your own pace this is the power of ai like you all need to do right now if i'm you learning to code or learning react or typescript or python anything i would follow this path the last prompt i can give is like uh i'm not going to give it code but like give it a code so here is here is my code can you act oh, can you act like an can you act like a senior engineer so what you can do you can write a component and give that component or components to chat gpt and say like here's my code can you act like a senior engineer and review it because if you have this fear that people will review your code well they will review your code so this kind of practice will help because it will go through your code and can give you some suggestions right and i'm not saying like it will be always be correct or it can be a little harsh right uh, or may not be too harsh but i don't know what it will going to do but it will give you some suggestions so this is how i would learn to code if i have no money i have some time i have a decent laptop i have notion access to internet so all these things combined and you can uh build up these skills yeah i mean i think uh in the next videos i i can show you like how to use cursor better uh another ai tools but this is the simplest thing anyone can do and probably some of you are already doing and if you're not doing please do it because it's free it's cheap and effective and i think that's it from today's video i'll see you next time in uh next video we'll do something interesting thanks a lot for watching